Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for all things Adobe. In this video, we're going to be adding snow to an image, and we're going to be doing it in After Effects. Now, if you prefer to stay solely in Photoshop, then there's a great action from Gavin Hoey, and the link should be around somewhere. If you want to do chunky snow, then there's been a recent tutorial from Deep McClelland, and again, I'll put a little link somewhere around here. All right, we're gonna do it in After Effects because it gives us a little bit of wiggle room. I'll show you what I mean when we jump in and see what's what. So here I am in After Effects. Now for this particular image, I've got to do a little bit of setup. First of all, I've got my image. You can see I've got this from Adobe Stock and it's quite big, 4200 by 2800. So 42 by 28 and that's a little bit too big. So if I was to drag that into a new composition or a new project, then it's going to be a little bit too big. So let's make a new composition and half it. So in this case, 21 by 1400. I'm going to call this one background. There we go, background. And I'm going to make sure that it's only five seconds long. Now this is a still image, so it's going to be five seconds of still but it'll give us, again, a little bit of wiggle room, more of this in just a little while, bear with me. Um, I'm gonna make the background black, but all the K, this doesn't really make much difference at this point. Okay, I'm gonna click OK, and there we go. We've now got our background composition, and you can see there it is. All right, I'm going to now drag this image in and over to this bin. You can see I'm in the uh, library's workspace at the moment, and I've got my project panel open. All right, now that's there. That's kind of like a little storage area for all your assets if you're building a, a more complicated one. Um, and I'm going to drag it down and just pop that into the composition there, or as we're going to do it, use it, the image. All right, so it's a little too big, so I need to scale that down. And in After Effects, that couldn't be easier. I'm going to press S for scale, and you see the scale properties come up. If I click on one of those and choose 50% and hit enter, there we go. We've now got it fitting. Okay, let's come out from there just so we can fit the image. There we go, and everything's there. So that's my setup done. Now let's go and add the snow, and this really is very, very easy. So first of all, we need somewhere for the snow to go. So I'm gonna make a new layer. And if I go up to layer and then come down to new, you can see we have a few that we can use. We're gonna use solid. So this is gonna be a solid color. I'm gonna call this one snow. Snow. There we go. And I can click on make comp size, which will make these here the same size as the composition. The color is definitely going to be black, so I'm going to make sure that that is black. There we go, all the way down, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and there we go, and click OK. So now we have a black layer. We can add some snow to that. If I go to Effect, and then Simulation, and then down to Snowfall, this is going to add some snow. Now the beauty about using After Effects and where I said we had wiggle room was this panel on the left hand side. You can see now that we're into the effect control for the snow, which means that we can adapt this to exactly as we want it. Well, I'm going to add some more flakes to start with because I can't really see what's there. And I'm going to bring the size right up, maybe even to 15 so we can see exactly what's going on. Here we go, right up. Okay, we're just about being able to see them now. Um, so let's uh, make be change the variation a little bit and uh, we don't need the speed at the moment and we're gonna look at wind and spread and all that kind of stuff in just a second what we do need to do is to put these over the top of the image now just like in Photoshop we can use blending modes you may have your bottom part here looking like this or even like this or like this but you can see I can open these different parts of the panel at will using the buttons down the bottom left hand corner and it's that middle one that I'm after to reveal the blending mode and I'm going to change this one from normal and I'm going to put it into screen there we go and now I can see the snow on my image all right let's uh, bring those up even more let's have some more snow and uh, the size I can't get any bigger the variation I can change. Let's bring that down a little bit maybe. There we go. Now the scene depth 
is exactly what it sounds like it's you know how much we've got of the scene which means that we can bring this up a little bit and you'll notice that uh, we get smaller particles in the background and larger particles in the foreground and which gives us a nice sense of depth something that would take a little while in photoshop all right so we can play around with the scene depth the speed really isn't going to make a lot of difference because this is a still image the wind we can use just to give it a little bit of wind so it's not coming straight down there we go we're now going from left to right the spread if we spread it out a little bit you can see that it makes a little bit of difference not a great deal in this particular image but a little bit the opacity we can bring up i can bring that right up so we can see it a bit more there we go let's bring that up to 100 percent. i don't mind because i'm going to take this into photoshop so it's the matter there we go transfer mode we'll leave at lighten and compose with digital is fine you'll notice as well there's some extras in here and in the extras we can bring the ground level uh, up a little bit so we could match the ground if we wanted to there we go um, which is kind of nice um, and the depth of that too okay i'm going to bring that down a little bit further i'm not too worried about it being on there okay good all right there we go we're all set to go here in After Effects. Of course, I could tweak this a little bit more, make it a bit more part of the scene, but I'm gonna leave it there for this demonstration. Now we need to get this over into Photoshop to do our finishing touches. So what I want to do is to make sure that this is at 100%. This is very important. So up to 100%, and then we can go to Composition. We can go to Save Frame As and Photoshop Layers. I'm going to save this to the desktop and there we go save off it goes does its thing back in photoshop i'm now going to open go to my snow or my background there and open and there it is and what's really nice is that snow is still on its own layer now we have this title safe guides we can turn those off view and clear canvas guides and there's our snow remember we brought the, the opacity up to 100 percent i'm going to take that down a little bit just to make it a little more snowish and i can change this as much as i like so now using um levels for example and i could have done this in after effects if i'm honest levels and i'm going to clip it to the underlying layer i can then bring this middle one over and brighten it up if i wanted to or even make it a little bit darker should i wish don't want it to be too bright there there we go and then i can start masking it out all that kind of stuff just to blend it more into the scene in fact i might do that on the snow layer let's create a mask um, with a brush let's bring that up a little bit using the right square bracket and i can just come over that and get rid of these bits here could have done with a bit more in the bush there but not a problem i did this in a bit of a rush but you can see just how easy it is and the control you have using the effects in after effects I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for joining me here for this video. Don't forget to check out everything else that I've got on YouTube and at tipsquirrel.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.